What's going on, everybody? It's Super Nub, still not 6 here, and welcome to episode 36 of our Pokemon Ultra Moon Randomizer Nights Lock. And last of you guys, we made our way to the Altar of the Moon, and uh, we had a few losses on the way here. So just know that there is one Pokemon in our party when we do our speedy quick team recap that is not supposed to be here. We just we, we got here, and I hadn't had a chance to go to Pokemon Center yet. So. First up on the squad, we have RuPaul, our hasty nature Gardevoir, rocking Psychic, Future Sight, Draining Kiss, and Calm Mime. Next up we have Elsa, let it go, let it go, our docile nature Frostlass, holding that never mode Ice, Power Up that Ice Beam, Muscle Rocking, Shadow Ball, Zing Zap, and Willow Wisp. Next up we have Grey Water, our timid nature uh, Muck. Holding the poison powder to power up that gunk shot, sludge wave, and venom drench, and also rock and screech. Also, I don't like how it's timid because it lowers attack and raises speed, with speed is its lowest stat. Next up, we have Hiccup, our mild natured uh, Dragonair. Holding that Amic coin because he's about that motherfucking money. Also, rock an Aqua Tail, Dragon Tail, Slam, and Agility. And last but certainly not least, we have Ketchum, our lax natured Ash Greninja. Rocking Water Pulse, a Faint Attack, Shadow Sneak, and Flame Wheel. Now we're about to make our way up this altar and summon the legendary Pokemon Nala. So let's climb our way up here. Normally, whenever I do this, I have to come up here. I take Tauros up here, but I don't want to do that. I want to just climb the uh, the the altar like it's supposed to because it's supposed to be an epic moment. We can catch Pokemon here. Other than the legendary Pokemon, I think that'd be kind of funny. Here we are. The Altar of the Moon. I can feel the strong power of the moon. Nebby, before I can return you back to your original form, I've got to go find my mother. I have to tell her. I have to tell her how I feel. And then we will find a way to stand against the cross, but together. The sun flew. It feels like it was made to fit my hand. I think I can play it. Have you ever played a flute before? Alright, so she stands over on the sun portion. No, you should stand over here. And then I stand on the moon portion. Dude, people say these games are bad. They're fucking wrong. These games are great. Like, Pokemon Scarlet and Violet wishes they could have, like, huge moments like this. Will you blow the moon flute? Yes. Shit! Oh shit, son! Ooh, kill him! Ooh, kill him! Ah, that looks so cool! D tell me that doesn't look fucking cool as shit. Fucking lied to me right now. Oh. He's wiggling. How is she just having Nebby in that bag? Also, she still didn't learn her lesson. Because she keeps keeping Nebby in a bag. But that motherfucker weighs like 800 pounds. How's she holding that bitch? Oh. Oh. Oh, yes! Look at it! Look at the moon bag! Look at the moon bat, dog. This thing looks so cool. I fucking love Lunala so much. Lunala is such a cool Pokemon. Ghost Psychic. Oh my lord. Oh, look at it. Nebby, thank goodness. You're alright. Please don't ever do that again. You made me worry so much. And I never imagined that sounding the flutes would give you so much power. Or let you evolve into a legendary Pokemon. Mahina. Not in all, not in all my readings. Never did I ever come across any hint that you would ever evolve into a legendary Pokemon. Please, Lunala. No, Nebby, please. I need you to help me. I want you to protect Alola, but there's no need for her to try to catch across my own her own. Mahina Priya. We need to catch it. Oh. I catch it. 
catch it. Now we're gonna ride it. Now I can finally follow my mother and... No. There's no need to follow her. But Mr. Kuzma, but you were... You guys ass beat. Ooh, shit. Mother as well? Oh, shit, son. They on fucked up now. You children. You run away. That thing is a monster. Yeah, no shit. You got your ass handed to you. M mother! He's here. That is Necrozma. The incident woke. It flew in... Oh. The incident woke. It flew into a rage and repelled everything that came near it. Yeah, you remember how they say keep it... Keep it, you know, asleep? That's what they meant. Lily, run from this place. You can't do anything. We can fight. Not I can fight. We can fight. Even though you have literally no Pokemon on you. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, epic fighting cutscene. Let's go, boys. Oh, there it goes. Oh, look at this. How can people see this fucking scene and tell me this game is bad, dog? How can people see this and tell me this game is bad, man? How can people do that? It won. I wish the fight scene was a little more drawn out, but... I won. And it's opening up more wormholes. Doot doot doot, just a kahuna on a stroll. Wait, this is your man's time again. Staka taka! Oh, look at this man. Oh, this one's a rare visitor! Per perhaps I should, perhaps I'll shoot this one up to you. Tapu Koko comes crashing down, ready to fuck shit up. It's ready to kick some ass. Did you come here as a guardian or just to battle? The other islands must surely be facing the same threat. I'm counting on you, my comrades. Ah, oh, there they go. There go the Abu Tapus. Oh, I think we act I don't think we got to see him last time. Hell yeah. Ah, it's Lord! Mm. And he's just like, well. Ah, oh, look at him. Ah, oh, that kicks some ass. About to kick some ass, dog! They don't get to fight. They don't get to catch this thing yet, do we? No, we don't. Bro! What the fuck? We gotta fight a Deoxys? Are you fucking kidding me, bro? Oh my god, it got randomized to Deoxys. Are you fucking kidding me? What? That's, that's attack form Deoxys, too. Okay, um... We're going to ask it into. RuPaul can't touch it. We need to go out and catch him. It doesn't affect me. Your damn right doesn't affect pain attack. It, it's all it's known to be like that dude. What a bitch. <laughs> dude, if you've watched my Soul Silver Nuzlocke, you'll know Deoxys was the bane of my existence in that game. I just one shot it with catch him. There it goes. At that part, you can't catch that Pokemon. You have to let, you have to just beat it in battle. Uh oh. Being enveloped in darkness. Well, the Krozma, the one that wields light is to its will. It should steal all of Lower's light. 
The crossbow wants to take back the light that it once lost. But how we, how we, what do we do now? It seems to me like the beast, like the crossbow, was also suffering somehow. It seemed to hurt it to be without its light. You would worry even for the crossbow. You are too kind, Lily. Far too kind. That's why you took Cosmog as well, isn't it? You must be child. We will need your help. We need to be able to travel between worlds using the legendary Pokemon power, just as you are able to. You presume much. And despite that, it is true that you are trying to take care of things in your own way. Should I praise your sense of vision of responsibility as one charged with the protection of Pokemon, you egotistical woman? Yeah, g give her hell. Please, Captain Fico, leave it be. It is as my subordinate says, sparing you with you, sparring with you now will change nothing. And there is something I am more interested in pursuing. Something I noticed during the battle just now. The Cosmo seemed distracted by you, by the Z-Power ring you wear. To be perfectly accurate, it seemed it desired the light given off by that sparkling stone set within it. You mean it wants Z-Crystals? It's sure enough it has an awfully large number of Z-Crystals after coming so far in his island challenge. Yeah, that's true. Even more than that dumb captains and kahunas and all. We just focus on one type. It's not that it is not in our own to fight without Zogaleo, but we do borrow its power to travel through the Ultra Wormholes. You have shown us what you were capable of through, though, by summoning Lunala to a place to this place. Perhaps you could ride upon our Zogaleo. Yes, just as you ride upon Pokemon in Olola. We call it the Ultra Warp Ride. If you hope to follow after Necrozma, you should make for the White Wormhole. If you enter any other whirlpool, you should find yourself in another world altogether. Okay, so now we get to ride. What do we do now? We just talk to him. We all, we all share Pokemon. Do it. Do you want to use Oakley's power to try to reach the white whirlpool? I'll do it now. Hell yes. So Galeo, aid us. Oh. Oh, look at the power! Look at the power! Yo, alright, so... If you guys don't know how this works, we have to ride through Ultra Space until we find a white warhole. Also, for some reason, it made shiny odds in this insanely high. Like, if you go through any of the other wormholes, I already know how this works. I've ridden through here many times. I have done this many times. I don't care. We're literally not doing any of it. We are literally trying to go after one and one only. Here we go. Wait, I can't move it. I can't. Ooh, what the fuck? I'm unable to move. I can't move the thing. Does it have to use tilt controls? This is stupid. No, no, that's because of that. I should have read. I should have read. We are not going to make it, unfortunately. We are not. We are not going to make it. We are not going to make it because of this stupid tilt control bullshit. We keep barely getting sucked into everything. Yeah, we're about to get sucked in. Yep, this is not where we needed to be. This is not at all where we needed to be. Well, here's what we'll do. We'll count this as an encounter. The Ultra Space Wild, so that way it's not a complete waste of time. Ultra Space Wilds. We'll count this as its own encounter, just so that it's not a complete waste of time. And I will look up how to turn off the tilt control. If it'll let us. If it won't let us, we might be stuck. 
Really? 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 Well, shit. Do we have a quick call? We do not. Um. It's Rattata, so. We've still gotten a hiccup. It is level 60, though. It is level 60. If we ever needed a dark type, this could be something. Normal dark. Ouch. Ouch. Okay, we should have half for half. And I am not sticking in. I will go to catch him in case it decides to do some shit again. Because I do not want to lose that cup. Especially when we're close to getting a Dragon Knight. Alright. Throw an Ultra Ball. Gotcha. Hell yeah, Border. Hell yeah, Border. We got a... Uh... Tata. So now... Tata's data was added to the okay. How have we not seen an Eradicate? That's weird. It's so weird that we haven't seen Eradicate. They're so common. Give it a nickname? Yes. We are going to name you your female. Name you Cheese. If you're a male, I name you Splinter. But you're female, so I'm gonna name you Cheese. Central box. Alright, so now we go through here. Go back to the Ultra Wormhole. Alright. Now, I am going to look up how to turn off that tilt control bullshit. I'll be right back. All right, so now I have managed to get to where you use the circle pad instead. I had to go to Heia Heia City. So now, do you want to use Sogleo? Yes. Do I have to go to that cutscene again? Do I have to go to that whole cutscene again? No, I don't, okay. So now, should be able to use it. Thank God. All right. I forgot that it automatically made you do that whole thing in, uh, with kill controls on by default. It's been a minute since I've done this. Doing this is nostalgic. I remember trying to save up for a capture card so I can do this on stream. Like I practiced and everything. Damn it. Wait, 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 yeah! <laughs> See what happens whenever I'm given, like, the proper controls? Yo. Yo. Ultra Megalopolis. Whoa! An alone person appeared riding on Sogaleo's back! Dolls, what should we do? Don't you think we should investigate him? Remain calm, Zosi. Human from the old road of Alola. The Crossman has claimed all his power and is now atop the Megalo Tower. The people here have all fled indoors to safety. They fear the Crossman will fly into another rage as it did when that woman loses me. The Crossman will reclaim its true power now. That is stolen the light from another. But it cannot control that light, and so Necrozma only suffers more. We use the power of our technology to try to quiet Necrozma, while also using it to provide some small amount of light to ourselves. Both Necrozma and our own people have lived long years with a darkness that never should have been, living a life we did not wish for. A human of Alola, will you not stop Necrozma and bring the light back to our world and Alola? Crossman lies ahead. We'll find it at the top of the Megalo Tower. Now, if this motherfucker is still a Deoxys and gets the boost of Totem Necrozma, we might be fucked. We may or may not be fucked. I'm gonna be real with you, Chief. 
Be careful, pe people of Alola. Necrozma is really strong. There's nothing that we here can do. We can no longer control it with our technology, and we certainly have no hope of defeating it in battle ourselves. The light of Necrozma once filled our world and did not shine upon us alone. It gave energy to many throughout Ultra School. Yeah, Necrozma is amazing. That's why, if you could just help it calm down, I bet it would share its light with everybody again, like it used to. Please, you've got to help it. Will fucking do. Let me see here. We do need to heal. Wait, it's all I got? Three hyper potions. Okay, I've got max potions. I was about to say. I was about to fucking say. We were gonna be fucked. I'd say, hold on, you got me all sorts of fucked up. You think I'm only going in here with three motherfucking hyper potions? Fuck that. Alright, so, Megalo Tower. Alright, so this is where we're supposed to fight the Krozma. Oh shit. This camera angle, though. We run up here. So, oh shit. Alright, so up here is where we are to fight Necrozma, and I think that is going to be in the next episode. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button. A couple of things in the video, make sure to hit that subscribe button, jump share, help share, it helps me as a whole. I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya. Take bars, little man.